Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to position an element to the left or the right side of your website. So in this video, we're going to position this stories design on the left vertically. And if you want to learn how to create this design from scratch, I have a video on that. You can go ahead and check that out. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And I will also leave the link of the source code of this design. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, so this is the source code of our design and the first thing we will do is we will make all these stories one below the other so we have to change the flex direction if we go to the index.html file here we can see we have this uh, division with the class of stories container and in that we are adding this uh, division with the class of content in the javascript so here we can see we are creating this uh, division with the class of content and we are adding that to the stories container division so what we need to do is for the stories container we have already set a display of flex now we have to change the flex direction and uh, we have to set it to column so let's type flex direction and set it to column and now we can see all these stories are one below the other now the next thing we need to do is we need to decrease the width of this stories container element so let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, let's try a width so let's select stories container let's decrease the width a little bit and let's see what is the correct width and I think a width of 162 pixels looks good and we'll also add a fixed height so let's type height and let's try 600 pixels and uh, I think that looks alright so let's copy these two styles from here and uh, let's add it to our CSS so let's add it over here and now we can delete this width from here so now we can see we have these stories displayed over here now the next thing we need to do is we need to scroll vertically in the beginning we had set it to scroll horizontally so let's go back to the CSS and we have to set the overflow Y instead of overflow X so let's change this to overflow Y and now we can scroll down all right now the next thing we need to do is position this stories container division to the left so let's go back to the CSS and uh, let's set the position to fixed and uh, let's set the left position to let's try 16 pixels and I think that looks all right let's also bring this uh, element to the center vertically so let's type top and set it to 50 percent and now it starts from the center so we have to type transform translate y and uh, we have to type negative 50 percent now it will be exactly in the center so now we can see we have the stories container positioned correctly and if I click on any of these stories we have the story displayed in full screen mode and everything else is working all right so that's how you can position this element to the left now if you want to position this to the right you can just change left to right so here you can just type right and now we can see it is on the right side let's change it back to left now the next thing we will do is we will fix the mobile version so if I decrease the width of this browser here we can see this is how it looks so if we scroll down in our CSS we can see we had added a media query and uh, here we have set the width of the stories container to 90% so let's change this to something less let's try 130 pixels I think 132 pixels looks alright so that's it with the mobile version now what you can do is you can hide this stories container by default and you can add an icon and if I click on the icon this stories container should be displayed so let's try and do that first of all let's get an icon so for that I'll use heroicons.com and let's search for an icon I'll just type right and let's scroll down and uh, let's use this icon right here called Sharon double right let's copy the SVG and uh, let's go to the HTML file and here in the stories container let's create a division and let's give it a class of toggle story so if I click on this icon once it will display the story and if I click on it again it will hide the story let's just change this to stories All right now in this division let's copy the SVG and now we can see in our design we have this arrow displayed over here now what we will do is we will position this arrow on the right over here so let's go to our style.css file 
and let's access uh, the toggle stories division so let's type stories container toggle stories and let's set the position to absolute now let's set a width of let's try 20 pixels and let's set a height of 20 pixels and let's set the top position to 50 percent and we'll also type transform translate y and set it to negative 50 percent now it is exactly in the center and uh, let's add a right position and let's try negative 10 pixels and let's bring it down a little bit let's try 0 pixels and I think that looks all right and we'll also set the cursor to pointer and now when we hover over this we have this pointer and now the next thing we will do is by default we will position this stories container to the left so let's go to the stories container and here we will set the left position and we will set it to let's try negative 100 pixels or let's try negative 110 pixels I think that looks all right now what we will do is when we click on this uh, button we will bring this uh, stories container to the right so for that we will add a class of active so here we will type stories container dot active and we'll set the left position to I think it was 16 pixels and we'll also add a smooth transition so let's add a transition we'll just add it over here in the stories container for the desktop version so here let's type transition and set it to all 400 milliseconds ease all right now let's add and remove the active class using javascript so let's go to the javascript file and uh, let's first of all access uh, the toggle stories division so let's type const toggle stories equals document dot query selector stories container toggle stories and let's add an event listener so here I just type toggle stories dot add event listener and we will listen for the click event and let's create an arrow function over here and what we need to do is add the active class to the stories container so let's type stories container dot class list dot add or you can just type toggle so that once we click on it it will add the class and if we click on it again it will remove the class so let's type active over here All right now let's test it out so let's click on this uh, button and we can see that the stories are displayed over here and if I click on these stories everything is working all right and if I click on this button once again the stories disappear so that's it with the mobile version now let's fix the desktop version so let's go back to the CSS and uh, here let's type stories container dot active and let's try left of let's say 150 pixels I think 140 pixels and that looks all right so now if I click on this button we have the stories displayed we don't have the transition yet so let's go back and uh, here we don't have the left value so let's type left 16 pixels all right now let's test it out and everything is working all right so that's basically how you can position any of the elements to the left or the right of your website all right so that's basically it for this video and uh, I will leave the link of the source code in the description and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day